I'm Josh Carney, and I was born in a small town called Baton Rouge, Louisiana. My family I grew up hunting and fishing, and they taught me how to hunt and fish. Very young age, three years old, my dad would take me out there. We'd go rabbit hunting, and you know, I fell in love with you know hearing dogs, and you know, it, it sounded like a, a choir, or orchestra, and music. I got into hunting more, you know, just different styles of hunting, you know. You know so I could rabbit hunt in the morning, or deer hunting in the afternoon, and be in the outdoors all day long. So my dad would go to work and I'd go hunting the property behind his cabin shop and you know, that's where I was. You, know, you found me in the woods somewhere. And around 13 years old, I discovered this thing called turkey hunting. And it's probably one of the most addicting things to mankind. We set out and we crossed a ditch and we set up my dad's 20 yards to my left. And uh, I start calling. And then um, I could look over my left shoulder and see my dad, you know, picking up his gun. And I just, I'd sit there. So he see something. And then I could look over again, and the next time I look over, I see the, the barrel firing and it shoots. That's when he shot me. He runs over, he picks me up, my body's numb, I'm ringing in my ear, I can't hear anything, and he picks me up, I'm like, Dad, you shot me. He carries me out of the, the woods and he's running down this gravel road, and he's got the phone, you know, 911 on the phone. He's like, I just shot my son, you know, I'm on this location. So they're coming, they're rushing in, and you know, at this point, I'm, I'm at the, you know, crossroads. I'm like, this is it for me, I'm dying, you know, this is it. I look up my dad's like, just God protect my dad. It's, and I thought that was it. So I get in the back of the ambulance and I black out. The doctors came in and um, they're like, Josh, you know, we have to do surgeries. You lost a lot of blood, you know, you were shot. So they did multiple surgeries just to get me back to, you know, where I need to be and be stable. And from there, you know, I started my recovery process. So after two weeks of being released, I got right back in the woods and, and I figured out that life was going to come with challenges, especially being in a situation that I wasn't used to, but it's all about how to overcome those obstacles and I definitely figured out ways to overcome them and make the best of them. I think I'm more driven by the fact that I left my accident and never looked back. You know, a lot of people let something like that, you know, hinder them and, you know, get them down and depressed. It wasn't, it wasn't for me, it wasn't in my cards. And every time that I want to give up and, you know, I have those days where, you know, it's like, why, why am I doing this? And I'll sit down and I'll think, it's like, you come so far, why quit now? Until you are absolutely alone and learning who you are as a person, that's when you discover your happiness, you know, what makes you tick, what drives you. And you know, for me, I'm driven knowing that each and every day I have the chance to motivate someone and inspire someone to do something great. That's where I find myself. That's where I find Josh Carney.